There it is. There's the stream link. Posted the tweet. The tweet has been posted. Posted tweet is good. Love that tweet. Like it. Everyone like that tweet so I can get the cool internet points. Love love to get internet points. My favorite points. All right. Subnautica. Let's do it. Uh, there it is. Open it up. Apparently I have 22 hours in this game. That's not true. Also, why is my VTube going funky? That's not. Two minutes early. Oh my god. Well, I knew if I was even 30 seconds late, y'all would be up in my business being like, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Why isn't it working? Hold on. Wait. Oh. Why isn't it working? What? Hello? Why is... Hmm. Come on now. There we go. Oh! Totally 30 seconds late! How oh, dare you! I can't believe you would do this, oh my god. I lost a minute of stream. I lost a minute of stream! Ah. There you go. If Bimple was 30 seconds late, we'd know he was just microwaving his cold brew. Ah! I bought my cold brew early so as not to uh, take even 20 seconds away, although I have drank. Uh, quite a large amount of it. <sighs> Why is it uh, not displaying? Oh, there you go. Do do boo boo do 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 boo do. Wait, wait, wait. Bimple's pog face is now his crying face. It can be two things. Two things can be true. Yo, we got a fishy wishy. And then, and then, oh, apparently, what? Oh, apparently my quick button to neutral face is the bug report button. Oh, oops. Um, so, hmm, might have to, might have to change that. How are we doing? Um, what do we need to make next? Personal tools. What what are we making? Propulsion cannon, warps gravity to pull and push objects. I don't think we're making that yet. Um, I have flares, that's fine. Habitat builder, air bladder. Um, that could be nice. Uh, I f is this not- this is the thing that like, you can hit the button, or if you're like drowning, it'll like do it automatically or something? Is that right? Repair tool, we have a repair tool. We have a scanner. Bug, bug report button. There's a there's a bug re, bug report button. Yeah. Pumps air into pipes. Compass. We have a compass. Oh, I don't remember anything about where we were going last time. Do we already have a high capacity O2 tank? Yes. What is this? Is there anything that's supposed to go there? Blueprints. Lubricant. Advanced wiring. Lots of fish. Um, compass. What am I working towards? I guess I'm working towards a sea glide, maybe? I have one of the two parts. I have two of the three parts on the sea moth. Um, I don't have any parts on the mobile vehicle bay. I do have the grab trap. Cyclops bridge blueprint. Not sure what that's for. Uh, I think this is another vehicle that I will eventually get. Scanner room. Multi-purpose room. Power transmitter. Extends the range of a power source. Ooh, oh boy. Oh boy, that sounds fun. Coffee vending machine, yes. You were still exploring the Aurora and the various life pods. Right, um, what... I think it was uh, exploring the, the red forest, whatever it is, and um, other things. It was, like, it was like north, was it? No, it wasn't north. Okay, it was the opposite direction of the ship. 
So that's the ship there. Excuse me, you cannot be on the surface like that. that that's creepy. What is that over there? Is that just ground? What are you? Loader. Oh. Uh, I don't think I need that. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I need to- I need to not have a lot of stuff in my inventory, so I'm gonna go into my little- my little, uh, thing here. And put away Welcome some stuff. Um, I can throw a bunch of stuff in here. I have- I have water. I think I have all of the stuff I need. I have some cooked food. Oh, I should actually drink some water, I think. Yeah, we we ought to drink some water. Consumeth thy water. Multiple kelp forests and red grass plateaus around the safe shallows. FII. Gotcha. Okay, we have consumeth the water. Oh no, it's nighttime now. That was bad timing. Kind of don't want to hang out or explore at nighttime, to be honest. Okay, so it's. Southeast east, so I'm gonna go south sorry, northeast east, so it's it's southwest west. I'm gonna go southwest west. And uh, I'm gonna go over here. Oh we only have um twenty one percent power on our on our light. Do I have a spare battery? I do not. That's a problem. I'm not a huge fan of that. I like getting free oxygen from this thing. Now that I can, uh, I have a semi-renewable source of water for a while, I kind of want to let the, um, sacks replenish. I don't like that I really don't have a lot of, uh, power left on, in my battery. Nineteen percent. Uh, what do I, what do I have? Radiation suit. I have the radiation suit and radiation helmet. That's not right. Where's my? I gotta go back. Where's my uh, helpful helmet that gives me air? That's not. I don't have what I I want right now. I was wondering why it was called United States when I remembered that it was an England colony, so they named it so like something like that. Well, was it not? It was. It wasn't called United States originally, wasn't it? At least I don't think it was. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, this suits me fine because I didn't I don't really want to explore at nighttime anyway. Makes makes my job a lot harder. Okay, so we have a we have an extra battery. Let's take that. Where is my helmet? I know I have an extra helmet. Is it in my main pod? Yo, where is it though? It seems to have disappeared. This is my radiation helmet. I'm supposed to have an the other helmet. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm getting a little bit worried here. I thought I had it in my inventory. The rebreather. Where is the rebreather? It is somewhere. You had a floating item container in the water near your pod, which does not show up in the HUD. Floating item container in the water near your pod. Did I? That's not it there, is it? 
No. I'm looking, I'm not seeing. Um, let me check this thing. Uh, it just has eggs. Just eggs in that thing. Guys, I'm a little bit worried. I'm not seeing my Reaper either. I know I had a rebreather, and I'm not finding it. I'm not seeing it. Did it get, like, trashed? Did Subnautica hate it and, and get rid of it? Because I know I had one. This is the radiation uh, helmet. It's it's not the rebreather. Eggs. I'm gonna do one more check, and if I don't see it, then I'm gonna have to make a new one. Um, let me grab the stuff I need for it. I don't like that. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. How does one make wiring kit? Wiring kit is pretty annoying to make, isn't it? Wiring kit is two silver ore. So I need two silver ore and a fiber mesh. Uh, nothing in here. We playing we are playing prey after this. I'm not I'm not changing my mind on that one. I I do want to try it. I haven't played it. It's supposed to be fun. Two silver ore and a fiber mesh. I don't have a fiber mesh anywhere. Uh, unless it's in my inventory up there. Might be easier to look for the floating chest when it's daytime. I will definitely do that. I also have a radio message, apparently. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Okay, so I don't have fiber what mesh. Else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, alright, but so are all the others. I did, I swapped Pathologic 2 for Prey. Um. The reason, I, I talked a little bit about this in the last stream, but my reason being was that Pathologic 2 was not really doing it for me. I wish, um, I wish I could have been a bit more, I don't know, open-minded to it, but, uh, I just found it to be really exhausting immediately. And, uh, I, I, you know, I think that people in chat are gonna say, well, that's kind of by design. Yeah, that's fair. Truly. I'll grab, I'll grab two of these. Make another fiber mesh. Sunbeam is coming to save you. Um... Might swap Prey 2016 for FIFA. Well, you know what I, I realized is that I swapped Pathologic for Prey when the original plan was to do Resident Evil 2. But I kind of got the impression that, that people didn't want that from me. And I understand why. I get the logic. Um, so I just think that Prey would be a better choice. And if it doesn't end up being good, we can always swap it for something else. I could play Sagebrush, which is a, uh, you know, indie horror game that I picked up. It's uh, it's an all it's all an experiment, you know. Like we we are just doing our best. I'm doing my best. Might be a good idea to explore the kelp forest and red grass plateaus before you go real deep with the real breather. Um, if I die, can I ask a question? If I die, do I lose anything? There are a lot of good schematics in them. Okay. I'm going to make some glass.
Uh, I am going to do that. Um, okay, Bo, I'm making the rebreather because I want to explore the shallow areas. I, I like I've I already made the rebreather. I'm I'm really kind of annoyed that I have to make it again. I'm not sure what's the what the deal is there, but it's not a good deal. I'm not happy about it. Decomposing. All right. Well, eat it. Yummy. When can we make nutrient bars? What do you think of Grounded, game where you are small as Ant? Is it a good stream game? Could be. I mean, it seems to me like um, the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids version of Subnautica. My only problem with it is it's $50. <laughs> and it, I'm not saying it's not worth $50. I'm saying that I don't really want to throw $50 at it right now right now can we talk okay, I want to have a conversation at some point about sales could we have a conversation about sales at some point you know um, I like I like sales on games and um, you know it's it's uh, how I obtain a majority of my games um, is when a game is on sale. I'll pick it up if I think it, it makes for a good stream game. Ooh, is there something here? Ooh, Vehicle Bay Fragment. Yes. Oh no, that's self-scan. I'm a little bit worried I'm going to get attacked by something. What is this? But salt, I'll pick up the salt. We could always use more salt. Sales are so good. Um, there's um, you know, there there. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oof. Okay, let's get to the surface. I'm a little bit worried about our air. Um, there there is a, a subsect of people. You know, like when you. When you do the whole YouTube thing slash influencer thing slash you are basically trying to make a business out of promoting other people's work, um, you do tend to make a lot of friends or connections, um, I wouldn't call them friendships really, uh, with people who are, you know, in the business. They're working. They're working hard on things that you will probably enjoy at some point. And... Um, that means that they have opinions, you know? And that's fine. Everyone's welcome to have opinions. But, you know, as being a, kind of like the middleman, I would consider myself kind of a middleman person. I get to exposed to opinions that are very strange to me. Um, like that sales are actually unethical. Now, before chat blows up and says that this is like wildly a bad opinion and incorrect oh. okay a little, little bit concerned about where i am um is this the last oh i got the sea glide oh nice i should uh, check out how to make that before i continue um i'm gonna hang out on this air thing uh i i kind of understand where it's that that idea is coming from which is that there, there are people, like, you gotta remember, for every community there is, there's a, there's gonna be a small margin of people who, um, exploit something. And I'm not saying, it, you know, you, by buying a game you're exploiting the system. You're not. That's not, that's not correct. Um, seek fluid intake. Seek fluid intake. So we need a battery, Battery. we need lubricant, we need copper wire. Oh, this is very easy. I actually have the parts already. I just need the lubricant, which I can get right now, because I need the, the little yellow globules. Um, you know, there are people on Steam and online who, they just collect games. They don't play them ever, basically. They don't, you know, they, they don't do, they don't collect games. <laughs> or say they don't play games, they just, um, they just collect them and by any means necessary using uh, like methods of like buying um, stolen keys and stuff like that and, um, it's 
it's a weird business and you know like the idea of game collecting has become almost like like video games are almost a currency now like people collect and trade and swap around and spend games you know in a in a such a way that makes games almost like you know they're 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 a second thought almost they're they're not even it's weird i don't know like we are we are in a in a weird um like system right now of uh games have become so prolific like there's so many games and uh, you know there's deals all the time and there's expectations of certain you know of games being available and accessible um so when you know people come out and say well i'm not gonna put my game on sale ever um i, I kind of get it i do actually kind of respect that opinion because there is this like um expectation that well i mean i'm just gonna buy that game when it's like five dollars those days are gone unfortunately unfortunately those days are gone they're not coming back the days of i'm gonna buy this game when it's a buck there was a time when uh i'm gonna i'm gonna eat this <laughs> there was a time when terraria was two dollars and fifty cents canadian you know that was a that was a time in our history in 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 video games don't you make it that games are nfts no, no i'm not i'm not Steve, saying that I'm not ever going to say that exploration range for your nice. safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within 5 kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat uh let's put this on the 2 and also let's save why not Imagine being able to buy games. I mean, you know, there's a hyperbolic ways of saying anything. Um, for some people, you know, it's, you can't really buy a game. How do we do this? Oh, we just, we just move. For some people, um, you can't really buy a game unless it's on sale. And I, you know, that's, I don't think that that's unethical. Uh, but I do, you know, I, I don't like to say, I don't like to, you know, I don't know how to put this. I don't necessarily like to think um, hyperbolically, meaning that any anything or any idea is completely good or bad. I think that that, uh, that kind of thinking can lead you into um, traps and, and lead you into, into maybe problematic thinking sometimes. I'm wondering if I can use this to to check out this. So, oh, uh, ouch! I'm sure that if I go in there, I will die. I, I think I probably need something else, right? Political situation for me. I did not know sales had a whole thing around it. Well, you know, it's funny. Like everything kind of has a whole thing about it. Like uh, I talked about this a little while ago, but um, demos are, are uh, kind of a hot topic. Oh, radiation detected. I am heading towards the ship and I don't want to be. I want to be heading away from the ship. Um, you know, demos are kind of a thing. Um, I, I talked about this a little bit, but I mean, like, people have metrics and a analytics to prove, um, at least for them, that demos actually hurt their sales. Because some, for some people, um, they just want to like get the the dopamine hit of trying the game real quick, and then be done, and then they're and then they're good. They don't need it. They don't need anything else. Did I already get this? No, I didn't. Cool. Um, playing a game is not really on their itinerary. You know, it's just uh, it's just trying it for a quick second. I think we're faster than those things now, right? Um, oh, I just noticed that we can actually, like, see the floor. We can, like, ooh, we can, like, check out cool stuff like this. Oh, this is neat. A little bit dicey, but neat. Oh, God. No! 
Um, so, you know, uh, what I'm saying is that there's all, it's always a thing, you know, there's always a thing. Oh, okay. There's always things uh, when it comes to any tool. Should I be doing this? Geo Gigo Burr. I'm going to try it. Nice. Oh, that's a that's a bad, that's bad. Wait a minute. There's nothing here. It's just more of the same. Oh no. What was that? I, I think it's interesting. I don't know. I think these are interesting topics. I think that the idea of sales being un unethical is an interesting idea. Um, it's I don't think that sales themselves are unethical. I think that the culture around um, them can be toxic is really all it is. It really is um, when people expect something, that's when things get a little bit, you know, dicey. It's, you know, like, uh, consider um, any chat uh, that is currently watching a set of trailers for, for games and how toxic they can be. It really is, like, as simple as that. GOG is my favorite. All games, let me see, hold on, changed my mind. I think sales are straight up good. Rich people can impatiently buy the games when it's expensive and poor people can wait until it's affordable. Maximize this profit and availability. You literally can't buy games in my country. What about Caves of Code feature day being paused for devs to focus on the release of Moonstare? Um, what is your opinion on game devs that count wishlisted games as sold games and then get mad when the games have poor release? Um, I'd, I don't know. That's, that kind of falls right into what I'm talking about. It Honestly, it's, it's all about expectations. I understand um, people need and want metrics to plan for a certain kind of um, success so that they know how much money they're going to have, possibly. Like, that's that's the hope, right? Is that you know vaguely um, how much money you're going to have. And and so, therefore, you can plan, like, you know... Stabilizing. Um, so I, I don't necessarily blame them for being uh, upset or frustrated. I think when you start to blame people for wish listing your game and not then not buying it, then I personally will say, well, you know, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, uh, so I, I don't, I'm not going to say sorry, not sorry, because I hate that statement. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I genuinely am sorry that your metrics didn't meet expectations because that sucks. It's a, not a good feeling, um, but like you can't expect someone who wishlisted your game to buy it, especially not on day one. You know, like that's not that's not what is you know. And what about Caves of Code feature day being paused for devs to focus on the release of Moonstar? I don't know what the topic is there. Um, is should I have an opinion on that? Is that a thing? Is that is that? Are you asking me, Andrino, about that because that is a, a divisive topic? It, I'm, I'm genuinely asking. I don't let them do what they want. If they took a year off, I wouldn't mind. Caves of Cud is like one of the most updated games, period. It's insane how often they update that game. Let me see here. So do I want to make a mobile vehicle bay? Is that something I want to do? Looks like I'm getting pretty close on the Seamoth. Multi-purpose room. I'm not sure if I should. Um, I guess I'm just scanning more stuff. Unethical snails. Uh, need a thermal suit to get closer to hotter places. All games that are sold through a third party, especially crap like Ep Steam or Epic, are overpriced. Sales make them reliably priced. If a developer has a problem with that, self-publish. Boom. How are they overpriced? That's another. That's an odd statement. Uh, 
Uh, how? Okay, I need to. I need to know how is Steam overpriced? Uh, like meaning that the game that is on Steam is available other places more cheaply. Is that what is being uh, implied here? I'm gonna make some water. Actually, I'm gonna make a bunch of water. Uh, not a controversial topic, just curious as a non-player. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Like, I can't... If they drink, honestly, I think it's better if they take a break and... Well, they're not really taking a break. They're just working on a, a major content update. So, I played Moonstare. You, you can find it on my YouTube channel, uh, Subtle Nod, towards my, my own work. Um, and, and it's very not finished right now. <laughs> like... And I'm not saying that as a point of criticism. It's, you know, that's... It's not finished. <laughs> the fact that you can play it um, at all via the Patreon is kind of nice. Um, I did it for YouTube purposes, but um, if I wasn't playing it... If I wasn't doing the YouTube thing, I probably would have waited. Steam takes a 30% cut. Oh, we're not talking about that part, are we? I thought you meant, like, the games themselves are expensive. I'm sorry, I, I don't I don't uh, agree with this, like, person. This is another thing that I find is, uh, like, another topic of, like, well, okay, the platform takes a cut. I mean, that's always been true, and 30% has always been the thing. It's always been the cut. Like, that has never changed. But consider this, um, Steam has taken a 30% cut since the very beginning. That... That number has never changed, despite the fact that Steam has become basically the nece necessary platform to publish on. Now, I'm not saying that they're good guys for not increasing the price, but I am saying that for all the complaining about the 30% cut, people don't really talk about how it's actually not the worst thing ever. Like, it is basically standard. I've seen way worse cuts than 30%. Not saying that 30% is bad, or sorry, good, like necessarily good it could be better sure it could be better but like epic themselves are trying a better cut and they're saying it's not profitable they're saying that less than 30 percent is basically a lose situation for them um let's go check out some more stuff right i i kind of wish i had hadn't even acknowledged that conversation because it's so tired to, to me personally, I think that the whole, the, 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 the anger around that is somewhat unjustified. And I understand where it comes from. I really do. And I understand how difficult it is to be a, a game developer. I really do. I, I know it sounds like, um, you know, like a disingenuous. I, I, I am not a disingenuous person. You could accuse me of many things, but not that. But I don't agree with the, the anger about that because it's like... It just seems like... It, it, it seems to say that Steam or Valve are doing literally nothing for that cut. They are... They do try. They do, like... You know, they... they, they I feel like... I, I know it sounds bad, but I feel like they earn that. People like to claim they do nothing. Or that they are hurting developers. And maybe, maybe there's stuff going on that I don't see I'm behind closed curtains. You know, there's always that possibility. Um, I'm willing to, you know, like maybe I'm coming at it from a very ignorant point of view, but like the amount of work they do to, to try and get developers paid is seems to me is is uh, pretty justified. You know, you I mean I could list things off, but then we just like this this eventually becomes like a literal argument. I don't necessarily want to do that, but thirty seconds. Okay, we gotta get some air. Are doing literally nothing. That's not true. <laughs> it's it's just not true. I think that if you think that Valve are doing nothing, then you're 
fooling yourself, if I'm to be very blunt about it. Um, okay, can we explore this thing? Oh, what's that? Can I check that out? Nope. Laser cutter fragments. What was that? Where was that? Integrating new PDA data. I saw laser cutter fragments for a, a second there. Oh, swivel chair. What is what is Valve doing for third party developers? Um, just for a moment, please consider all of the th the work they've done to basically make a uh, t to have Proton basically convert games over to Linux compatibility, so that your your third party game just works on their hardware. Consider for a moment that uh, the amount of work they've done to, for controller support so that basically any controller that someone has, regardless of how well supported that controller is, just kind of works for your game. Consider please for a moment um, the idea that if your game is not online multiplayer, there is now a way to play your local multiplayer game uh, online. Like, I, I'm not even gonna, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use it as an argument, but I think that trading cards, even in their minor way, is a way of helping third-party developers because they, they, they get a cut from those cards. I don't care about cards myself, but some people do. Like, Steam does a lot of things. <laughs> it's really weird to me to ignore all of those things. And it also should be said that Steam also, um, what they do for consumers is also helping developers. Like making things like DRM transparent. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say uh, their storefront makes your game more visible because that's not necessarily very true anymore because there is a sea of indie games, new games every day so it's, it's difficult to really make that claim. But, you know, things like the queue, for instance, if you actually look at your queue, they'll suggest games to you. Things like tag moderation, so that you can actually try and find games that suit your, your needs. Like, for instance, there's a traditional roguelike tag, so I can actually find games that suit my interests. Um, it's... They, they, like, I, I just can't, I really cannot, you know, respectfully, um, respectfully. I really just, I don't want to seem like I'm dunking on anyone. I, I cannot get behind the idea that Steam does nothing. Now, that's not to say that I don't also support GOG. I think that they're doing a great thing. I also support competition towards Steam. Wouldn't, wouldn't blindly support any one company, ever. But um, I, I am also not going to ignore what the, the platform does for me and how it support, you know, how I support it. Is this a place I wanna be hanging out in? This seems somewhat dicey. How are the Subnautica going? Uh, Ask me in a second, this... I feel like these things are not okay. I'll read one line and argue with it. He doesn't read our arguments. I read uh, chat after I'm done talking. I, I'm saying my piece, and then, and then I will read chat. That doesn't mean I'm ignoring your arguments. That means I am, uh, I'm doing this at my own pace. Please have patience with me. Um, he has bought hook, line, and sinker into the valve Kool-Aid. Well, I mean, then I read lines like that, and it certainly doesn't make me want to read your argument. No offense. Make their platform more accessible that people spend more money on their platform. All right. 
I, I, this is why I didn't really want to talk about this because the, the, to put it very bluntly, the hate Kool-Aid is just as palpable on Steam. And it's just as, like, blind. I am not blind to the things that Valve and Steam do that are not okay. I'm, I'm speaking purely from a consumer perspective of why I support them and why I buy games on Steam. So beyond that, I'm gonna not talk about this anymore because it doesn't really benefit me. It doesn't make me feel very good either. What just, what just took a bite out of me? I saw something take a bite out of me, but I don't I couldn't see what it was. I kinda wish that these um boxes would disappear. And nothing will ever go bad in there. Well that sounds like information I should absolutely read nothing in to. Used to use Unity, then switched to Godot. Certainly I don't use engines anymore. Make stuff from scratch in the browser. I would like to learn how to use Godot. Godot seems like a cool platform. I've already got the laser cutter fragment, so... Oh, okay, I just get some extra titanium from that. I appreciate that I don't have to pull out a tool to grab these things. What are those? Creature egg. No thanks. What is that? Is that anything cool? I'm, I'm, like I said, Chad, I'm done with the conversation. You can continue arguing if you want, but I, it's not, uh, it's not gonna go positively, I think. I'd rather just talk about the video game. Ooh, what is down there? Anything good? Is that a cool place? Live Godot learning stream? Live Godot. <laughs> Live Godot. Live Godot learning stream? Sure. Sounds good. I don't know if you want to... If you want to watch someone learn coding. That sounds almost as fun as watching someone code. I have watched that occasionally. What is this? Is this anything cool? Copper ore. Oh, I need something for that. I don't have much power left on this thing. What is this? Is this good stuff? I can't collect it. Is there something at the bottom I can collect? Blood oil. Oh, that sounds fun. It is large. Okay. I found the blood kelp. Is that the blood kelp? There is a game, I believe, that teaches you how to code. I, um, I actually, um, funded or, like, pledged a, to a Kickstarter that was, um, going to... It was basically a learn from, from nothing, from zero, Godot, teaching course. Make a git rep, rep repo and let us all chip in. <laughs> one, one stream equals one game from scratch. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of the advice I'm getting for Subnautica. <laughs> Check out the... What is it? The cool mushroom biome? It will go good. Might want to craft another air tank and fill it if you're gonna go swimming around deep. Also, definitely have at least one extra battery on you for sea glide. I do have an extra battery on me. Or... I did. Where did it go? 
Oh uh, no. You know what I th I'd like to do is I want to take a, some time and farm some extra resources. What is that? Is that something? Oh yeah, look at that. Wear fish with lamp and forehead. Make good words in chat, you do? Is that something I have looked at? Yes, it is. Um, there's something, oh, that's the, the thing. I've already checked that out. Um, I kind of want to take some time to farm some resources so I can make spare batteries and stuff. Do, okay, do batteries just like disappear after you've used them? Few words do trick. <laughs> Why use big words when few words do trick? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh my god. Yo, get out of here. My dude. <sighs> well, that was spooky. <laughs> we be talking English. If you make something, craft something that requires a battery, it will take it out of your inventory using drained batteries to craft is a pro strat. Oh. Um, question. It, it, when I, when a battery gets used up, does it, uh, disappear? Or does it become a drained battery that I can then charge later? Okay. That was gonna happen soon. What if I just switch to speaking Russian until the end of stream? You could do that, but then I don't know what you're saying, and then if you're saying bad things, then I can't ban you forever. So, that would be a problem. I would have to get a Russian moderator. Calorie intake recommended. Uh, I keep thinking that escape is how I get out of menus. I kind of wish that was the case. Okay, we have a power cell. The drained battery does not disappear. Batteries have a percentage in your inventory and drained batteries will be at zero in your inventory until recharge you're using crafting. So that means that... Uh, hold on. How does one get the battery out? Can I only get the battery out if I have a fresh battery in my inventory? I really wish that escape would just get leave containers. Um, I kind of forget how to get batteries in it, in or out. People are speaking languages in chat now. Find quick, assign quick slot. Do I have to hold it and then hit R? Oh, that's very cumbersome if I'm being honest. Okay, so we have a zero charge battery now. <clears throat> Let's also charge this thing. All right. Uh, I don't know the PC key. I played it on console. Now, um, how would one charge these batteries? Is there something I can build that would let me charge them? Trash can. Sign. Ladder. Base attached air pump. Power transmitter. I need a scanner room. I need a multi-purpose room. I'm going to have to get these things. Ooh, I can make the Seamoth. Look at that. One person sea and space vehicle. When do I want to make that? Probably when I have a base, right? Uh, no Korean exists. It's Korea that doesn't. What? Korean is not real? I've almost completed, uh, finished drinking, <laughs> completed. I am 99% completed my coffee. 
It's okay, I have second coffee. Plasteel ingot. Oh, lithium, huh? Synthetic fibers. What is benzene? Oh, we make benzene from um, blood oil. Oh man, why does it have to require three of those things? Man. Beacon manager. Oh, how do we make a beacon? I would like to make a beacon. Massive debris field at your location. Don't know how bad, how many. Uh, data bank. Blueprints. It seems to me I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm going to have to make. First, you need a pig. What? Is he, what? Oh, bacon. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. First thing I hear as I open the stream second coffee as I sit down with my second coffee. Coffee, yeah, man. You gotta be, uh. You gotta be double fisting coffees. There's a battery charger you can find and scan amongst wrecks and life pods. Make the Seamoth as soon as possible. Power cells are just big batteries you can craft and replace like you do with normal batteries. Okay, make the sea. What I. My, the thing I took away there was make the Seamoth. Alright, we do be making the Seamoth now. I need titanium ingot, which I have. I have the power cell, and I believe I have the glass. I think I have pretty much everything. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We have the power cell right there. Let's go ahead and swap that. Um, I still, I do want to do a little farming so that I can get some more resources. Yo, what are you doing so close to my base? You're not supposed to be here. I don't like that. This is my safe base. This is my my safe space. To make the sea moth, you'll need to craft a mobile. Oh, really? Really? Oh man, man, why got why? No, no, the, the sea moth. I just want to make it. Why you gotta make me be making mobile vehicle bays? Please. My my grandfather's watch. <laughs> Please. <laughs> No. Laser cutter. Oh, ho, we. Oh, we need diamonds. God damn it. Diamonds in the sky. Oh, advanced materials, huh? Synthetics, synthetic fibers, huh? Ooh, plasteel ingot. Mm? Okay. Good. Oh man, sounds like that girl from the horse dude show. The Bojack Horseman show? Oh, I'm almost dead. Hold on. Consume. Vital signs. I accidentally used a first aid kit. I appreciate that the first aid kits are free. I really appreciate that the game does not make me juggle uh, supplies like in a lot of um, uh, survival games. And like, yeah, here you go. Don't don't worry about it, bud. We got you. Don't don't even fret. Excuse me? That sounded like a predator. Where are you? What are you doing so close to my base? Get the heck out of here, bud! Don't make me get all knifey on you! Yo, dude. Yo, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Hey, you're still alive? No. That's not a... This, this is not, not a, a situation we are going to debate. Okay? Oh, you still... You still... Dude. All right, hang out in that sulfur crap. See if I care. Get over here. Are you, how are you still alive? Oh, he did actually die. No, he's, are you alive or what, dude? My dude, uh, chat, is the thing alive or not? It looks alive to me. But it's acting very dead. Will Dimple be able to figure out Obama's first name? <sighs> Chat. What are you talking about? I need more water. Chug a lug. Just Fran bowing that dead fish. 
Um, okay, so I need to make the mobile bay. How does one make the mobile bay? Oh, I just need a titanium ingot. Okay, I've got that. Got this under control. Can't believe he missed Obama radio. What? What are these words? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. <laughs> when he starts thinking this, rethinking this whole streaming idea. Ah. The only time I rethink streaming is when we get into any kind of hot topic, period. Release vehicle bay. Okay, question. Um, should I be doing this like near a base or something, or is it? Is it? Oh, I guess it's mobile, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Where do I put it? Can I put it anywhere? There it is. Can you eat the dead fish? Yeah, I, I thought maybe I could like fillet the fish into some kind of sandwich. Hey, my dude, it's not polite to be farting around my freaking mobile bay, okay? Can you get the heck out of here with your freaking sulfur bombs? Get out of here. That, that fish just do be hanging out at the bottom. He's okay, don't worry about him. He's gonna be fine. Hey, is that a new thing? Beacon. Oh, that's a new thing. Life pod stranded near a cave system and under attack. Should I like go and check that out or like later? What is this thing? What what is happening in this game? It it does not feel real right now. You can't eat megafauna. That's silly. I mean, I guess I get it. Stalkers, no, you can't eat them. I disagree with this uh, balance choice. I want to eat the giant fish. Vital signs stabilizing. Let me eat the giant fish. Okay, okay, okay. So we made the thing. All right. Uh, what? Is, huh? Huh? Are those flying things really necessary? Use vehicle bay. Vehicles. Sea moth. All right. All right. So I need to collect all of this stuff again. Oh, I have the glass. I need lubricant. So I gotta go get some more stuff. Do I have another power cell? Kiss the fish. Oh, guys, do you remember Kiss the Fish? Uh, you know, historical, traditional Canadianism? You gotta kiss the fish when you get married in Canada. Remember that? Those were good times, remember? Remember? Remember, t remember when, we, when we kissed the fish? Um, composed of multiple organisms in some symbiosis life cycle unknown. Can I do anything with this thing? Kiss the fish. Kiss the fish. This is a zero battery charge. Zero char charge battery. Um, I'm gonna need another titanium thing, which I already have. Let me check the blueprint. Zmod. Titanium. Power cell. Two glass. Do I have enough glass? Power cells are made from batteries. Titanium ingots are made from regular... Right. But can I make the... Can I make the batteries? The power cells? Oh, I can make from... Oh, but you also need the silicon rubber. Um, and you were saying that the galaxy brain move is to make them from dead batteries, which we have two right now. So that would actually be good. Let's get some rubber. Let's put some rubber on the, on the ground. And also, we gotta make... Oh, no, we don't need to make another titanium ingot. Oh, I do need that second glass, though. And I need that titanium ingot. Okay, so power cell time. 
<laughs> Question, do you get a full charge, fully charged power cell when you make it? Does that even matter? Well, whatever. Okay, do I have everything I need? Uh, no, I need the lubricant. Alright, let's get the lubricant. Chat's gonna make that into something weird. That's what happens when you have words like lubricant, lubricant, gotta get my lubricant. My knowledge, uh, power, uh, imagine how many Canadians would marry in that game world. My knowledge of, on Canada culture, 90% South Park, 10% random bits I hear from day to day life. Lubricant and rubber. Gotta get my lubricant. Lubricant. Lubricant's made from the yellow blobules, right? Correct? Hey, is that a thing I didn't check? Oh, I always gotta be taking in fluids in this game. Jesus. Sea glide. Wait, I already got that. So they just gave me some titanium. That's fine. Uh, you. I already killed your sibling. So don't don't mess with me. Swear to God. You make the we make the lubricant from the globule, right? We just double check. Hmm. Yes. Okay. I'll grab a couple for the road. In, oh, inventory pool, okay. If your frame, frames drop, something big loads in. I think you get a fully charged power cell in Subnautica Classic from dead batteries. I don't think you get a dead power cell from dead batteries until below zero. Got it. Pa below zero. Literally unplayable. Got it. That's my takeaway. What, you don't agree? Well, well, that's unfortunate. It will be okay. It will hopefully work out. Where do I get bleach? Can someone remind me where I get bleach so I can make some more water? The funny little guy loads in. <laughs> the funny little guy, you say. Hmm. Chad is very transparent. I see through everything. See your lies. It will be okay. It will hopefully work out. Well, it could. It could work out. Maybe. Bleach is salt and... Oh, right, the tube coral. Right. But I thought you needed... Um, I thought you needed bleach. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just bleach. You just make this in Oh, okay. So I need tube coral. Okay. That's why I'm collecting the salt. My bad. I thought that for some reason the water was salt and bleach for some reason. Yeah, just go ahead and make mustard gas. It's fine. That's the same as water, right? It's solid. <laughs> um, bu -bu 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 -bu. What am I trying to do again? Sea moth. Hey, I've got it all. I've got all the stuff. Wee. Oh. So, hey, Mimesis, um, welcome to today's lesson. Um, we we found out that emoticons uh, hide your messages. I've been very uh, silent about this, but you, um, whenever someone uses an emoticon in chat that is not basically a smiley face or like some kind of reaction emoji, your message gets hidden. Safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Wow. Canadians drink salt water confirmed. We can test the th how like how extensively this works, but basically, if you use um, non-standard emojis, actually, I really don't know when. Uh, when when uh, YouTube decides to hide your message because uh, Twin Swords your your message Canadians drink bleach confirmed 
it just got hidden. And I understand why, but I, you know, I don't, ne don't necessarily agree. Um, okay, so we got the sea moth. Uh, do I need things for the sea moth? I need, you know what I need is I need some water. So I'm gonna go uh, cut some tube coral. Coral! Guys, remember Walking Dead? I, I remember Walking Dead. We're gonna collect a bunch of this. Yeah, Andrino, your message got hidden. And you know, the thing is, is like, if I see a message is hidden that, um, you know, I think should be shown, I will, I will alt tab to, to, uh, rectify the situation, but you know the, the the question is, do I want to have to do that? The answer is no. So, at a certain point, bimple laziness will win, and eventually your messages will just be lost to the sands of time. Sea moth runs on power cells, so I'm gonna want to make um batteries. Yeah. Do 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 Um I'm gonna throw this tube coral in the our container here. And I'm gonna drink some water. Glug glug glug. Vital signs stabilizing. Um, okay, what's, what's the next thing I want to make? I kind of want to start working on a base, but, uh, I feel like I should start saving towards, like, parts that I need, like, um, you know, wiring, batteries. I'm going to need a lot of batteries. So, what does a battery require? Where is the battery? There we go. Acid, mushrooms, and copper ore. Well, we certainly have a lot of copper ore. I don't necessarily want to turn all of that into batteries because we need them for copper wire as well. Um, oh, you know what I do need is I need a cutting tool, right? Laser cutter. So that means we need diamonds. Y'all want to let me know? Clue me in on where the diamonds are? You need mods, Bimple. Make me a mod. I promise I won't ban everyone who says anything good about Steam. Haha. <laughs> I, I am, uh, laughing. <laughs> I do need mods, and at a certain point, um, if anything, if, if, if things go well with stream, eventually chat will become, uh, a tangled sea of people all throwing their opinions out about Steam and Epic and GOG. And then I'll be like, well, you don't like Steam? Banned. <laughs> that's ironic. I'm saying that. That's ironic. I would not do that. Um, okay, let's get some acid mushrooms. You're going to want to want to build a sea moth and start exploring for a battery charger ASAP. Also, diamonds for the laser cutter are found far away from your life pod slash deep. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I know the acid mushrooms are basically right below me. Where are they? Oh god, no! You know what, it's um... It's, it's life. A first aid kit time. There we go. Truly do not like these things. They don't even give me sulfur anymore. Wow. You were like right next to me, huh? We ha he has a sea moth so it, it gets much easier to- Well, here's the problem though, lads is, um, e yes, I have a sea moth, but my tendency for things that I know have a, uh, like, 
I don't know, like uh, a certain amount of use before I have to charge it, is to not use that thing. So I don't really want to use the Seamoth right now. Until I know where I want to go with it. Does that make sense? Oh, there's some- Oh, god damn it. Where did- where is it? I don't see it. Okay, we don't want to over farm those things. I'm addicted to making every game I play permadeath mode. Ew. <laughs> Hate that. You left the sea my light. Oh no! Is that a thing I have to worry about? No, the, the, the battery's full charged. How do I turn the lights off? Oh, okay, there we go. Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Um. Okay, we got enough acid mushrooms. What else do we need for battery? Something, oh yeah, copper. Where's all my copper? Do I have enough inventory? I do have enough inventory. You're gonna wanna use the Sea Glide Seamoth to explore big time. It is super easy to farm copper acid mushrooms in this game. Batteries are a lot harder to come by and below zero. Oh, okay. What about copper? You said it's easy. All right. I don't believe you. All right, I will turn my current amount of copper into batteries. And then I will reserve. You do get out. Stop farting on my vehicle. Not okay. Um, if I stop playing or start a new save. I, 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 that sounds like fresh hell to me, Andrino, but I wish the best for you and that experience. Ice coffee is complete. Copper is like every other limestone deposit. You're, I guess you're not wrong about that, yeah? You want to explore Rex life pods to find a battery char charger ASAP. Okay. Gotcha. Appreciate the, the advice and helpful um, comments in chat. You are definitely accelerating <clears throat> this. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want me to suffer. It's really your choice. But I appreciate the, the you know, the not that part. <laughs> I appreciate not that. I, I don't want to suffer. Bimple wants to be free. Bimple is also going to start referring to himself in the third person. The other half is titanium. Power cell time. Okay, so really I just want one power cell so that I don't, um, like, find myself with a dead sea moth that I can't, you know, use. Um, did I make another one? No. We'll keep the batteries as they are. These are 100, 100. I should use the batteries and then turn them into a power cell later. How about that? Bimple learns. Bimple does learn, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Bimple smart. Someone in chat is like, oh god, please make him stop. Please. I want to be able to make nutrient blocks in real life. All right, we are nutriented. Let's get another life health kit. Pimple loves suffering, on the other hand. Pimple. Pimple is a good lad. He likes to suffer, though. It's true. Oh, God. Stop reporting bugs, please. All right. All right. It is time to seam off. All right, chat. Where does where does uh, where does Bimple want to go with the sea moth? Tell me. Tell tell Bimple. I like how you can strafe with it. Pimple loves suffering. Whoa, this thing is fast. 
I like the sound. It's fun. We gotta find some self a diamond. Um, can I put a scanner on this thing? I notice it has slots at the bottom. Am I gonna want to get? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Ooh, what is that? That thing. That guy looks not okay. I want to check out this area, but there's lots of spookies around. Is there anything in that that I should scan? In fact, there is. Oh, it's a me mobile bay fragment. Okay. Well, good to check it out anyway. Welcome aboard. Excuse me. Oh, let's check out that stranded near cave system. I hope you don't mind me asking, but have you tried keto ice cream and what other keto... Oh, I could tell you all about keto uh, substances that I have uh, inserted orally. Sorry, I didn't mean... I really don't know why I said it like that. But yeah, I can tell you about all kinds of keto food. It's a niche topic, and not everyone will appreciate it, but... Yeah, no, I can... T I, what, what do you want? Am I just, like, smacking it? Ooh, hello. There's, like... <laughs> There's like fish just like smacking into my windshield like mosquitoes. Seamoth upgrades are later in the game. Okay. I'm gonna check this out. Could be, you know, could be interesting. I like this Seamoth, it's fun. This is a fun game so far. I, you know, I know that there's horror in this game. I haven't experienced it just yet. But, you know, I'm appreciating also just the calmness of this game as well. Someone in chat. I know. You, you, you. He thinks it's a calm game. No. Oh my god. Stop it. I guess he... Oh, I am actually hurting the ship by driving into fish. <laughs> That's good. Alright. Have I already visited this? I feel like I have. Hold on a second. Oh no. There's stuff here. I think I've already... That's that's a laser cutter right there. Um, sorry, to answer your question, um, Mimesis, uh, I have tried um, various different keto ice creams, and um, I can recommend a brand. I, the, the, unfortunately, the name escapes me right now. Uh, I, can, I can tell you maybe after stream, though. Integrating new PDA data. Is there anything good in here? I was thinking, you know, like, how lucky of us to land in, like, one of the friendliest spots so that we are not being, like, completely uh, destroyed at every turn and corner. And I am correct. That is, we were very lucky. Uh, this game is, is very much about the survivor. Because everyone else got trashed. Um... I've tried, uh, you know, like I've tried, like, coconut fat ice creams. They're okay. Um, but there is a brand I, I've, I've uh, often bought that just straight up tastes like ice cream. It's expensive. It's not an everyday thing, for sure. But it's good. It's really good, and it is keto. And uh, I really enjoy it. Stop. <laughs> I was going to say... The, the fish, stop being there. Stop being where I drive my vehicle. It really is like a, the most human thing of all time. Hey, lo wildlife, why you gotta be where I'm driving my vehicle? That's not okay. That looks like a sea moth part, which is fine. We'll get some titanium from it. I just want to get rid of it. It would very much... You know what? Just for mimesis, I'm gonna look it up. Sorry, chat. Give me a second here. Give me, give me a second. Uh, here's a list of seven best keto ice creams. I think it is the enlightened. Yeah, it's. A, I think it's enlightened. Um. Yeah, 
Uh, I have, I have had, oh, there's, there's actually flavors I haven't tried here. I've tried, um, caramel chocolate double dough. I've tried, um, mint peanut, or mint chocolate. And, uh, what else is here? Uh, maybe this isn't, I feel like it is enlightened that I, that I like. Yeah, it's enlightened. There's a lot of flavors here that I'm not recognizing. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. So I've tried chocolate glazed donut, um, peanut butter fudge. They're all good. I don't think I've had a single one of these that I didn't like. I like some more than others, but that's just a flavor choice thing. It's, it, you know, nothing more than more complicated than that. Um, hold on, there's stuff to scan. I'll get back to my ship soon enough. Uh. Yeah, I, I really like Enlightened. In terms of, like, um, sugar-free goodies that, uh, you know, make you not want to die, um, I would say be careful of uh, sugar-free gummies. It's not a joke. They can genuinely suck. Um, do we want to go down here with the sea moth? Oh my god. The fish really do just be, like, around. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. No, I don't want to be down here. Okay. Gotcha. Sucks. Yo, the fish really do be... Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. I guess I could repair my vehicle, right? I do have a repair thing. Uh... Go ahead and get, grab our repair thing. Five. God damn it. Five. Stop. No. There you go. Sounds good. Um, yeah, be careful of, uh, of gummies. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not. Ooh, that guy does not look okay. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Get, get out of here. Wow, you actually get quite a lot of bang for your buck in terms of uh, the battery charge, huh? Just making sure we're actually going away from base, because I still want to do some exploration here. Is that something I can grab? What is that? That looks like a laser cutter again. That's fine. As long as your Seamoth is powered, you can park it at 195 and use it to re restore air as you're... You, you seek live even deeper. Also, read my prior comment about finding diamonds. A place that is slightly slightly tends to get to, but that is very easy to get diamond, gold, and lithium at, at is west southwest of your life pod. Travel along the ocean floor and be watchful. West southwest is that okay? That is opposite. Where am I relevant re related to the? Um, to the ship is is it east northeast that is uh where the crashed ship is e no it's well it's basically east for me but it's south east southeast of my pod okay so no west northwest you're saying gotcha should i not be in this area is this area kind of dangerous? I've got some chunks. I think that's another sea moth chunk. Yeah, that's fine. We get stuff from that. I really don't have the room for stuff like that. But, yeah, here I am. God, west southwest is where the diamond and gold lithium is. Oh no. This place seems kind of dicey. Ooh, there's something there. Warning. Maximum death oh, oops. Hull damage imminent. 
All right, let's um, hover around 195. Uh, there's a lot of those lads around. This is going to be dicey. But I'm going to do it. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? What is this? Whoa, dude. <laughs> Yo, my dude. Get out of here. Okay, so we got an air vent. Was that good? Was that worth it? Was that... Oh, whoops. I keep doing that, don't I? Is there something electrical down there that I could scan? Oh. Okay. He almost got me. Oh, maybe he did. Oh god! Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're fine. Surface dangers in Subnautica are in concentric, concentric circles. Your life pod is in sa the sh safe shallows. In a circle around it are kelp forest, red grass plateaus, which are iffy beyond that. He just wants to hug you. Hard times for gummy connoisseurs like me. Uh, hot take Haribos are okay. You haven't seen low tier gummies if you're telling me that they are low tier. Um, so Haribos are fine. It's the sugar-free Haribos that uh, are not okay. So, you know, worth worth mentioning. Am I being smacked by something? We should be able to go through here, right? No, not really. Really? I can't go through here? Some fun music here. I kind of want to grab some quartz, but I don't really need it. Oh, gold. What would I drop for more gold? I guess the titanium. Uh, lead. Uh, whatever. No, that's not where my moth is. Um. Haribo is the lowest of the mid tier gummies. Eh. I don't have, uh, I don't have strong opinions about brands of gummies i actually uh i don't know do do y'all have bulk barn in uh wherever you are probably not i like bulk barn bulk barn i mean they're not exactly cheap there's cheaper places to get your gummies my dude get out of here you are drunk go home um they're definitely cheaper ways to get your gummies but i do like bulk barn bulk barn is basically a place with like a bunch of drums full of various goods that um you know 
can do you things like flour things like keto free or keto flour like uh you know you can get like a keto pancake mix for instance or a keto bun mix or keto bun flour i mean um and some sweeteners although i find that uh bulk barn is not a great place to get sweetener they tend to not have what i want i go to the grocery store never heard of bulk barn okay yeah i mean it's just a place you can buy bulk ingredients and then they weigh rather than buying packaged goods they just like weigh the bag and then they tell you how much it costs um which is it's pretty convenient for various things okay so that went pretty well we didn't lose the sea moth which is good um, chat is telling me to go, well not chat, was it? I love that big runs without his light to see. Well, because I run faster, right? Um, you said southeast? East-southeast is where I want to go? Tough consistency and weak taste. Well, here's the thing. Um, gummies are one of those foods that... Uh, can tend to age badly very quickly. Like, I, I, I firmly believe that the quicker you get the gummy... Is this is radiation bad for our ship? Or is it just bad for me? I guess we can have the radiation helmet because we don't care about the depth so much. Um, should also drink some water. Oh, you know what? I should drop off some, some materials before we go on. See some VR gameplays in stream, way more liberty of movement can lead to funny moment, moments, or moments. I tried um, Subnautica in VR, and I don't know if maybe at the time they had very bad support for the Rift, but uh, it, I did not have a good time with it. It did not work very well for me. So, though I do, I would agree, Andrino, that I, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. And I do want to do VR content for my channel, but I really just haven't gotten around to setting it up. Um, I, I, I didn't have a very good time with specifically Subnautica. And in fact, it's one of the reasons I haven't played Subnautica and, up until now. Um, let's make another titanium ingot. We have enough titanium to spare, and it just saves a lot of room. Exploring and scoping out the life pods are all good, and going west-southwest is a good place to get that. Okay, thank you. Appreciate the repeat on the message, actually. Uh, it, it's helpful, because the, the, the message got moved up. West-southwest, gotcha. Depth of three th 300 meters, oof. VR, Subnautica and VR feels like a vomitron. Uh, I mean, any any game with a lot of freedom of movement is going to feel kind of vomity in VR. Also, I have been told that um, watching someone in VR is not great for a lot of people, so it's probably, like, I don't think that VR streams would be a great idea because it would s super limit who can watch me. I don't know why I did that. Um, I want to make some more water i get do i have more water did i store any no i didn't well i have salt um i have a bunch of salt so let's uh let's get some more oh actually i already have the tube coral so let's just make some more bleach this uh the salt is just used for making bleach right right everyone i'm not wasting the salt or is salt just one of those very obtainable things that i can get later no Man's Scar VR, hate train goes choo-choo. Uh, I did try No Man's Sky and VR, and I did not enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that wasn't because I don't like No Man's Sky, although I don't really. It's because I didn't find it to be very good VR. It wasn't a very good VR experience. How do you feel about streaming how Bow to Blood or Cosmo Dread VR games? I haven't heard of either of those, actually. I was kind of thinking I would like to do um, one of the Chernobyl-ish, uh, like, stalker-ish VR experiences. Either, you know, as a, as a playthrough or something. There's some really, really good um, stalker-likes in VR. 
stock, uh, st you know, that whole setting is a great, um, is a great place for uh, setting a VR game. I, I, I like the idea of extraction games. I just think that extraction games should be PVE by, by uh, concept. It just doesn't make sense to me that most of them are PvP. That was a weird, like, out of nowhere um, opinion about extraction games. Really, what I'm saying is, I would love to play a VR extraction game in in the Chernobyl setting. Play Stalker first. Why? It's not like I, I'm unfamiliar with the world. Also, you know, I, I think most people agree that the Stalker games have not aged well. <laughs> okay. Um, west, south, west, west. Hold on, I, I got, I got the comment right here. West, southwest. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna do it, lads. This is gonna be spicy. We got more chewy, less sticky. Are we still talking about Haribo? Devs made some gameplay changes that affected the in-game spaceship equipments. And oh yeah, you were talking. This is the waypoint upgrade uh, update. I heard about this, um, I, I think, I, 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 eh. <laughs> it's amazing how often No Man's Sky comes up, uh, especially in my streams, considering I have never played it for my channel or, uh, you know, for stream, because it's good. I mean, yeah, absolutely, I want to play the Stalker series. But, I mean, you, you saying I should play the Stalker series before I play a VR Stalker-like? As if there's, like, possible continuity. Not, not even that there's continuity, but more like, you know, one should be appreciated before the other. Ooh, bioreactor. Unlocked. Scanner room. Nice. Um... Really hope something's not about to uh, kill me. New blueprint acquired. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, good to know. Jelly. Metal salvage, we don't need that. Oh, a vending machine. Oh boy. <laughs> It aged like fine wine with mods, without like fine stale water, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, this is definitely a matter of taste, I think, a little bit. Do I already have the bioreactor? Okay, so we have the... You're making me a little bit nervous, my dude. Okay, dude. You, you cut off. Alright. So I got some very good stuff from that. So we're still going west-southwest. Um, I do want to play the soccer series. Don't, don't get me wrong. It kind of looks like a copper vein, but I know it's not. I know the copper in this game, the copper veins just kind of stick out. Why you gotta be making weird sounds? Hey Dimethorn, how you doing? If the vending machine doesn't dispense Reese's, it's not worth the materials, IMO. Okay, is that Seamoth? That looks like Seamoth to me. Moth. I'm not I'm not doing it. <laughs> Dimoth Dimothan Okay. So uh you said three hundred meters deep. Is it like down here, you would you say? Oh I do have to collect more of that blood stuff, don't I? Exactly one more. I'm being a little bit conscientious of how deep I'm going. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency. I really only need one, because now I have enough. 
Metal scraps just become titanium and they are super common. sound I didn't like that song sound start going too far south that is the blood kelp region you're going too far south okay all right west I go oh stop it did I just kill that fish all right listen while I'm while I'm safe ish let's uh, repair the vehicle Uh, the, via the music uh, really should not go underappreciated in this game. Uh, the music is definitely doing its part to make this game spooky. Is that Seamoth? Yes. I kind of should get rid of those just so that I don't end up checking them more than, you know. West, slightly southwest from Blood Kill. Okay. Smack. Smack. I am going west, slightly southwest. Look at me reading a compass like I know what I'm doing. Okay, time to do a little look around. Just to make sure... Oh, what's that? What are you? You look... Scary. Are you something I should worry about? Probably. Looking around for friends. Warning. Maximum depth reach. Oops. Hull damage imminent. Okay. That blue boy is very important. Into the radius VR? Yes. May join the game so bad that end up being good. Right. That that is the one I was talking about. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Alright, um, it looks like there's some important stuff down there, so I'm gonna go check that out. Is that, is that where I should be going? You'll need to remember them for later. Hey, have you made any progress on the story? Uh, I'm sorry to say I've been kind of ignoring the story. Have you played Dead Space? I have not. is that? Oh, they teleport? Oh, that is not okay. Okay, all right. I'm not I'm not really happy about what's going on right now. Oh god. Okay, he was like right on top of me. Um... My dude, stop it. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, come on. Uh, it's not happening. No. <laughs> Shoot. Rip. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna die in a wreck because he has no extra oxygen tank. I guess I should have made an extra oxygen tank, huh? Let's do that now. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. <laughs> Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Now his Seamoth is out by that wreck. True. It's true. It is. Um, I'm gonna go get it back right now. Okay, I need glass. I'm sorry lads, I, I failed you. That was not that was not proper play. That's where you need that thing that um kind of marks out where you've been. Oh, do I have no more quartz? Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't have any more quartz. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there's some around here. He didn't pop out. Um, shall I just go out there? Dude, where's my sea moth? <laughs> Swimming montage. Um, I should get some food. I'm just gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna go out there. What's, what's the ripping about? I died. <laughs> uh, I died in a sea wreck because I lost, I, I got lost. And, um, and it's bad because my sea moth is out there, 1200 meters. It's not the end of the world. I don't even think there's that many like bad things out there. Certainly there are bad things, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Died. See, you. I'll see you. I feeling kind of mad about both games. Bye. Take it easy. We are almost at the two hour mark. Um, what does that mean? That means in maybe about half an hour. Well, forty minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with uh, this one. Just a graphics driver issue. Quick reinstall, fixed it. You have a good time. Just in case for future reference, if you hit the southern blood kelp and you're looking for the diamond gold lithium place, go west. Is the blood kelp the red grass at the bottom? Is that the deal? Oh, I didn't make my... I guess I have this. This isn't bad, but it... What do you mean empty? 
It doesn't have air in it? Did we acquire the shinies though? I did require I did acquire some um, prawn parts. So that's pretty good. It was not a completely lost like I, I got stuff, yes. Blood kelp is the ghostly white kelp with the red blood fruit on it. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarification on that. So when I run into it, go west. I mean, this is the kind of game you're basically just going to want to explore everything, I think. This is why I wish I could make the beacons. Because then I could mark it out. And then I wouldn't have to, like, try and find my way every single time. You might be wondering, why aren't you using the little thing? Well, because that thing uses up electricity, and I don't need it so bad, so much right now. But I should eat these. Oh, why? Why? Where's the last one? Did I lose it? I think that's it right there, and I lost it. Okay. Left click. All right. Well, I lost my last meal. Sucks. Uh, alternatively, expand your base and build a scanner for resources. I should build a base. That's It is on my list of things to do. He's definitely not there yet. I'm still trying to find a good places to farm some stuff. Okay, so I'm still not where I want to be if I want to get diamonds and stuff like that. Can you get that far down though? I recall diamonds being far down and couldn't reach them. I do have a spare tank. Is it full now? Why is it empty? Oh, you do have to like actually wear it? Okay. So I'm, I'm supposed to head west from here. I swear to god I saw like a fin or something. This area, like it's completely pitch black. I'm gonna head back a little bit so that I have like land. Seamoth goes 200 meters and he has a sea glide and the rebreather so he can dive from it to break the rocks at that field. Uh, what was that? Okay. <sighs> Alright, I have some kind of ground to root, you know, keep me rooted. So. Equip an air tank at the surface or in a sea glide base to fill it with O2. Okay, I, I have done that now. So from here, um, should I head more west? Also, what is that? Is that anything I should care about? Oh, that's a bioreactor. Don't need that. I've already got that. Oh, is that something? Is that quartz? Honestly, I could use more quartz. Yeah, it's more quartz. <laughs> okay, so there's the air vent that I scanned. Warning. Maximum 
Maximum depth reached. Shoot. All damage imminent. I'm not good about not doing that. The problem with going west is um, it's just a cliff. The place you're looking for is more or less in, at the most southwestern portion of the volcanic caldera you're in. It's about 300 meters down, so you'll have to die from your seamoth to get it. I'm gonna go around the, the side of this cliff. Oh, no, I'm not. Getting to the farming area is dangerous, but the area itself is actually pretty safe. Just don't go too far south or west. If you go off the cliff, you'll invite friends. Shoot. Sorry, hold on a second. How do you make Seamoth more diveable? I don't know if you can. There are other vehicles that, uh, like... <laughs> Fill different niches. Cyclops. You're trying to get Bimple to the southwest field where he can farm gold. Oh, we are. Okay. Where is that? Uh, what do you need for the Cyclops? Is this what we're trying to know? Oh, there are multiple vehicles or upgrades that let the Seamoth and other vehicles go to greater depths. Cyclops will fill that. Man, I really want to drive a cube van with no visibility niche. Those are friends are so friendly. That's the place. The migration pattern place means you're in the right spot. It's down from there. Okay. All right, lads. Here we are. Says Kevbo. I I trust that you are correct. Um. I wish I, was, I didn't have so much stuff on me. I probably should have dumped some stuff first, but here we go. the bottom dweller. That's salt. Use the light on your sea glide. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna head back just so I don't have to use the tank just yet. It was quite a quite a dive. Hey, what is that? Nice. Don't be afraid of the bottom dweller. Watch out for his feet. 
but his feet are where the goodies are. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for the, I appreciate just the straight up info. Let me um, replenish my oxygen and then I'm gonna go do that. Magnetite, it's not really what I need. Is that what I need? Alien feces, that's not it. Chill out, bro. Diamond! What was that? Lithium. So, So he just like kind of creates these things, huh? Am I am I right about that, or does he? Uh... Oh, gold inventory full. God damn it! Thirty seconds. Okay. Well, I have enough for something. Has a very small compartment to store stuff on it as well. Oh, good to know. Thank you. basically playing sea minecraft now we are welcome aboard captain um how do i access the sea moths inventory do i have to like look for oh power cell sea moths excess upgrades oh okay good to know but not exactly what i wanted Do this, I'm not seeing it. Dig them up, basically. Seamoth has a small compartment to store stuff on it as well. Um, how does one access it? Because I would like to get some more stuff. We got some lithium, we got two magnetite, we got four diamonds, we have enough stuff. Let me just uh, have a look at what we need. What are we trying to make? We're trying to make like base stuff, right? Um, we prawn suit grappling hook. These are vehicle upgrades. Scanner room upgrades. Scanner room range upgrades. Scanner room speed upgrades. These are all things that I can't, I'm not I don't really have yet. Cyclops stuff, Cyclops fire suppression system, okay. Scanner room. Okay, we could work towards that. We don't have the multi-purpose room yet. I was wrong about the compartment. It's an upgrade. Okay, no worries. Don't don't worry about that at all. Bioreactor. What did I need the diamonds for? <laughs> I'm I'm kind of struggling to remember what I was what I needed the diamonds for. Oh, it was the laser cutter. Yo. Yeah. Okay, it was the laser cutter, and we do need that. Okay, um, well, in that case, why don't we head back? I have stuff that I could drop, but I feel like it would be better if I just kept it for now. Um, I really, really wish I could drop a beacon here, but I can't. So I'll just have to remember how to get here. He says, being notorious for forgetting most base things.
That uh, shadow actually kind of spooked me a little bit. That's something. <laughs> Diamonds for laser cutter first and foremost. Base, then power, then base upgrades. I can't read arrows as not being better than. So base is better than power. That's another Cyclops thing, but I already have the Cyclops. Ooh, get out of here, dude. It's okay to be spooked at the sea tra treater planes. They are literally sandwiched between two insanely dangerous areas. Bit mushroom biome had the big multi room. Oh, did it? Shoot. Well, okay, we weren't really ready for that yet. I am kind of ready now. I do have enough quartz to make one glass. I need two glass, I think, to make another um, high. What is it? Uh, no, not that. High capacity tank. Um, so, and we're going to want another high capacity tank for sure. Hey, Bimple, while traveling at full speed in the Seamoth, breach the surface of the water. I'm not sure what happened there. There's no speedometer. The purple mushroom biome is talking about is due east of your life pod. Okay. Maybe we want to go there next. I need the laser cutter though. I'll make that first. a fun little dolphin jump. <laughs> it's... Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, my dude. You're just being rude. Get out of here. Also, you are very close to my base. That's not okay. Honestly. Okay. Well, that was good. Um, basically, everything went pretty pretty well. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I need titanium and cave sulfur. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So I kind of, I, I probably want to check that out, right? Guns are illegal. Welcome aboard, Captain. Chat's on a new thing. How does this dude make a submarine but a gun is beyond beyond him? Well, I'm about to make a laser cutter that shoots lasers technically. Hilariously, that's actually addressed in the game. All weaponry aside from survival knives and stasis rifles are outlawed in Altera fabricators after a rebel uprising in one of their colonies. Oh. That's that's pretty good actually. I appreciate that. So what you're saying is my uh I I come from a totalitarian kind of government thing going on. Uh I need, I'm going to make glass. 
I need one more glass and then I can make another thingy. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find some glass. There's a, where's the big tube? There's the big tube, you know? The, the big one? They had spaced that, but that dude got pretty well with mining tools. There's a big tube that has uh, quartz in it, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure where that is. Ooh, quartz over there. To all rescue sources you mine are belong to us, pay us three million. Yeah, I, I did uh, I did actually notice that. I also think it's hilarious that in a you know, in this kind of society where there's like we have spaceships clearly, um, diamonds are in any way still uh valued <laughs> as a as a as a you know as a resource really seems to me that's should not be the case i scanned this thing right I'm gonna hang out here for a second. Uh, this game is hilariously anti-corporate, anti-fascist. Altera is the definition of a friendly mega corporation that is actually fascist and evil. It's in all the data readings you get. That happens in the first, the first time you scan a diamond. Just, uh, I'm just opening up my second coffee here. It's, it's, uh, not, not very hot anymore. Oh, we got something here. Do I have enough room for it? Sure. Silver. I assume gold is going to become, like, necessary at some point. Because I've been getting a lot of it, but not using really any of it. Life pod. 1,300 meters away. Diamonds resources are valued because Altera fabricators can only reallocate materials from similar atomic materials. That's why you need diamonds instead of glass for a laser cutter. can only reallocate materials from similar atomic materials. Huh. I'm assuming that also has to do with the fact that they didn't want people to have more than they needed, so because then we'd, they'd be able to make what they need. <laughs> it's actually a very clever um, explanation for a, an in-game mechanic, and I can I can appreciate that. I do, I do appreciate that they did that. Gold is good, silver is so much better. That's what I thought. Well, gold is a big resource. It seems to not be, right now anyway. Where do I want to build a base? Also, what am I doing? I'm making glass. I'm making another tank, that's what I'm doing. You mean pure carbon instead of silicone plus? Silver will be your bottleneck late game and quartz. Oh no. Um. What? How come I can't make the thing? Oh, I need four titanium. Yeah, I was using up the light there. That was dumb. 
three, four. There we go. High capacity. Quartz is SIO4. What was that? Oh, I'm hungry. In game. That was a weird sound. I did not like that sound. <laughs> Okay, we're full on that. Get some disinfected water. I'm gonna go and catch a fish or two. I'm trying to keep the diet fairly varied. Are you a predator? Ow! Jerk. Um, so that I don't take too much of any one fish. The bimple hungers. Always a smart. You might want to put your radiation helmet into storage if you're not going near the aurora. It takes up a lot of inventory space. Good idea. That is a good idea. Solid, solid suggestion. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Um, I wish I could make cubes. Cube! Oh! Where did I put that blood? Did I already make the thing? Where did I put the blood oil? Oh, come on. I know I collected blood oil. What happened to it? <laughs> this just this just keeps happening, doesn't it? Do you Okay, did someone I'm sorry if you answered this question already. Do you lose things when you die? I'm a little lost. I'm a little hazy on that. Um, I want the multi-purpose room. Once I have the multi-purpose room, I could start thinking about making a base. Um, but I think what I want next is um, that tool that makes me not get lost. Where is that? Tools. Do I want a propulsion cannon? The pathfinder tool, that's what I want. So we want two creep vine seed clusters. We need copper, one copper. I can actually make this like now. Max 20 discs per path. Is this thing reusable? You do lose some inventory items held on your person when you die in survival mode, yes. Okay. Shoot. That really sucks. Okay, well, I want to make sure I don't die again. Chat laughs hilariously. Dies of laughter. I want to make sure I don't die again. Yes. Yes, Pimple. Sure. Sure you do. Uh, I'm going to get some creep vine grapes or whatever they, the heck they are. I don't know. Items that disappear from your inventory on death are gone forever, sadly. That really sucks. Some of these items are non-renewable. Like, there's enough of them to keep you going, but... Okay. He knows us so well. With the multi-purpose room, you can have your in-laws stay over. I say it's multi-purpose, not, you know, free room and board. Okay, um, I should... What do I need for this? Copper wire and titanium. I think I have everything I need for this. I need to do that, actually. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, I, I'm kind of running out of copper. 
I have one copper here. Look how much gold I have. I so, so much gold. But copper? Kind of in uh, short supply. Do 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 do. Copper. Alright, I have the grape creep vine seed clusters. I need to make copper wire. Why can't I make it? Is it in electronics? You need two, okay. That that means I, I just barely have enough copper for one wire. I thought I had a do I not have a copper wire saved? Not here. Maybe, but not here. Somewhere. Technically, every resource in the game is renewable, or at least in ample supply. It's just that some resources are so much harder to find get than others. Loot boxes with voice packs for your AI. How lucrative would that be? You might want to start going east now to explore big fungus and purple orbs to stay spoiler-free. Gotcha. Um, I am going to make this thing, though. I need titanium. I'm actually kind of running out of titanium. We're, we're, we're not just running out of food, we're running out of base food. Like titanium and copper. Uh, no. Don't, no room in there. No room in here either. Where am I going to put the stuff? I guess I can put one in each. That's annoying, but it'll work. But the laser cutter shouldn't be... Shouldn't the Aurora be accessible now? Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily make it a priority. There are things I want more than whatever's in the Aurora. Like, for instance, a multi-purpose room. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hence why we're going east... Captain Bimple says east. Oh, wait a minute. East is radiation, so I actually do want my radiation suit. Bummer. But it could help if Big had a gravity gun, propulsion cannon, and lots of food and water. So I do want the propulsion cannon. All right. Ouch. What? Ouchies. That was scary. I don't like that at all. Um, where did I put my helmet? So wait a minute. If I have like equipment on my person, like for instance, a refrigerator, I could lose that if I die? Uh, that's a good uh, argument to not have that on on me, to be honest. But I, I guess I will keep it on me. Um, I, I have some food on me, but I'm gonna or sorry, some water. But I am I am I don't know how far east I'm going. So let's let's make some food. Sorry, there you know. So there, there's a little bit of necessary um, maintenance between missions in this game. Exploring the Aurora with the laser cutter, propulsion cannon, flashlight, repair tool, and radiation suit lets you stop the radiation and equipment does not disappear on death. He doesn't need the flares. I have the flares because they say that they um, distract uh, predators. I don't have them for help, but I have them to distract predators. So that's why I have them. And you know, why I've been insistent on keeping them. I don't need four of them, to be fair. Eh, I'll eat it. Whatever. It doesn't really stay very long. I th You think hor P uh, Simple has a hoarding addiction? Well, the thing is, is that I don't have any copper or titanium. Like, you lose this stuff. As soon as you start using it at all, You lo it's gone. Like, it's, it, this is always the case with these kind of games, is like, 
Oh, I have way too many resources and things. Oh, this is such a pro- Where did all the things go? They're gone. <laughs> kind of want to check out that life pod. But we're looking for mushroom biome. Players only stop medium tier. Uh, the ones about the size of you. Leviathans. Leviathans, not so much. My dude, get the heck out of here, bud. I think I already did all of this. So, what you're saying is the flares are basically worthless. Is that, is, that what, is that what we're saying? I can't tell if some of these sound effects are part of the soundtrack or are... Uh, happening in-game. A little bit unsettling. That looks like something. Uh, what was that sound? Ooh. Oh, god damn it. My dude! Get out of here. <sighs> Mild spoilers, flares only stop medium thing. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I was, I was looking at something possibly important, and then uh, I was rudely interrupted by some little gremlin. My dude, I need the stuff here, maybe. Like, can he actually damage my ship? Hmm, I wonder if possibly a flare... What? What? Hello? Oh, that's a bioreactor. I don't need that. <laughs> okay. Mushroom biome. Mushroom, mushroom. Um, does a laser cutter let me get stuff like this? Special requirement is no. Okay, that's a that's a big no on that. Mushroom, mushroom. What are those? Are they bad? Flares aren't totally worthless. They're also static light sources where you throw them. But in terms of defense, I mean, your sea glide is probably best. Run away. Your best offense is a good defense. Is a good. Run away. A little bit concerned about stuff around here. These things seem, seem pretty peaceful. They're okay. You okay, bud? Keeping a sharp eye out for spooky bad. Looks like something potentially useful. Lithium, hey. <laughs> um, is this a bioreactor? Moon pool. Hmm. Welcome to the mesh mushroom forest. <laughs> How much danger are we in? Chat answers. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, compared to, to normal. Yes. Uh, Alright. How, how much danger am I usually in? C 
correct. Alright. Chat. Uh, life pod. Ooh, what is that? That looks like something I don't want to hang around. Let me guess, I have to go down there. I won't lie, a big part of why I love watching Mimple play this game is because it's so fun watching him innocently swim around in between the deadliest freaking biomes. I am uh, a little bit concerned about that thing over there. Hmm, won't lie, I don't like that thing either. What was that? It just fl swam into the ground. Um, do I have to go down there? Like, I know I do, but do I have to go down there now? I really don't like the look of that thing. Throw a flare at that electric bastard. I got rid of all the flares. Well, he's here right now, although there is another one, isn't there? I don't know why some of those fish seem to be luminescent. Alright, lads, I, I'm probably gonna die right now. Oh my god, there's so many of them! And I, they're bad, aren't they? Like, there's no way that they aren't a problem. Don't destroy his false hope. Alright, I gotta do it, don't I? Welcome to the bulb zone. So this is not where I need to be? Activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. <sighs> hey, Faust. Shook you like an electric eel. Did I do it? Did I- am I an MLG, MLG player now? Hearing something. Okay. Excuse me. I'm hearing lots of things, but I'm not seeing anything right now. Scan the plants? 
I'm sorry, Mimesis, I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because I, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to... Oh, to uh, feed my collector mentality. What was that? Oh, there's a volcano. Um, and also, the things I'm doing right now make me very nervous, so I'm, I'm gonna forgo scanning the plants for now. Stasis rifle. Look at that. That's nice. Oh. It honestly reminds me of how plant pants wouldn't terrified of this game although it's the first time I played it. Well, I don't know how many of these things can just like 30 seconds eat me in like one 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 done. What do you mean empty? God damn it. Okay. 90 sec seconds. Swap. There you go. Uh, the mon moon pool vehicle bay is cool how it lets you customize the smaller vehicles, like naming the sea moth Chew Toy. <laughs> yeah, see, like, that's the kind of stuff I don't like. Um. Oh, I'm just, like, right next to that thing, huh? Okay. The purple bulbs are free food water if you cut them with a knife. Oh, thank you. How much room do I have? Enough. Oh, they take up a lot of room, don't they? Tasty. <laughs> okay. Um, so I assume I'm not really where I need to be to get the, the multi-purpose room? Oh god damn it. I knew you guys were gonna do that at some point. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, let me let me um equip the repair tool. Ow. What? Buddy, you will never get this. Can you, can you not, please? Okay, uh, uh. Do I want to continue going east? Repair tool five. I keep pressing escape when what I mean is tab. It's just pooping you. Bulb samples offer only three food, but ten hydration, half a small bottle of water, very hydrating. Okay. Um, fruitful tip. Snoop boop. Is 
There's something down there, but I think that's a volcano. Or a geyser of some, some sort. Subnautica and Below Zero are exactly as scary as you are afraid of deep ocean. If you have thalassophobia, this game is a freaking nightmare source. I have thalassophobia. Here's some nice stuff. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Just doing a quick look around. Hello. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the underwater, I won't lie. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. <laughs> the bulbs taste like Brussels sprouts. My dude, how close to me are you right now? New blueprint acquired. Oh, nice. Thirty seconds. Okay, we're going to do this in steps. Game on a raft equals scary. Game in a diving suit equals fun. Agree to disagree. Is this anything? That's just scrap metal. Okay. Oh god. They're healthy, but they can taste funky if they're not cooked well. Subnautica is scary underwater, which makes new players swim stay at its surface, which makes it so much more terrifying. Especially when you have to dive. 30 seconds. do one more sweep in there but I think I'm pretty much good to go um, what did I get here oh, I didn't get really anything I got some water I can craft the OP rifle stun gun uh, something tells me that the rifle is useless Also, do I have... Oh, I don't have the rebreather on. That's my bad. Oh, I need the radiation suit. That's why. Is there anything else in here? No, that was basically it. Any other cool things in here? Okay. 
30 seconds. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. That was fine. Uh, I didn't get the multi-purpose room, though. So, where where is that? Oh, God. Get out of here, dude. Mod station is a key to upgraded late game equipment. Okay, so I did get something very important. Good to know. I already got that. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. My dude, get away from me. Something over there. Ooh. Did, uh, did I already fully explore this? Yeah, I think I did. So I don't need to do this anymore. I didn't get anything, he says. Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean that. I, I, I didn't. I didn't get what I was. What I came here for, which was the multi-purpose room. Just for the record. a fun little zone. Is there anything here? Oh, that looks like uh, lithium. Nice. Do a quick check. Outcrop. Diamonds. You guys are cool, right? You're not going to hurt me? Okay, before I get too far here, I want to not get lost. Mild spoiler for the multi-purpose... Excuse me? Uh... Remember that underwater cave in the red grass plateau with the big purple shrooms and the big snakes? You can scan the multi-purpose room there. Okay. I am going... I'm choosing to go in here for now. I'm not saying... I'm getting lots of good things right now and I'm not dying, so that's always nice. Further than that. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. So lots of really good materials down here, which I cannot carry most of. I could drop some titanium. You are currently inside a long calcified root system. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life over many centuries to form these natural caves. Cool. You can drink some water. Um. <sighs> Already explored. Uh, Alright, so let's... Let's do this. Oh, uh, we are... I have, like, run right past our time here. I'm going to check this area out a little bit. Grab a, a few more stuff. Titanium seems to be in very common. Like, it seems to be very common, so I, I don't, I'm not going to worry too much about that.
But if I'm here and there's good stuff here, like diamonds, then I should collect them. Because I'd rather have the diamonds when I need them than the titanium when I don't need them. And the lithium. And probably the gold. Kind of want to use the uh, the thing that makes me less likely to get lost. Thirty seconds. Oxygen. Bimple is gonna get lost in three tube caves, die, and then quit at his base with his sea moss still parked there. No, no, no. No. Because I have a Pathfinder tool, which we're going to use right now, just to just so I can get used to it, really. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency so, really decreased. All right, how does it how does it work? Okay. Fun. That, that, that is actually pretty helpful. Good to know how to use it. I only needed one more resource to fill my inventory. Uh, another situation where I'd like to um, have beacons, but I don't have beacons. How does one get out of here? Where, where is the thing? Well, well, I am a little bit lost right now. I think it's that way. Okay. I'm going to head back to base. We've got a lot of really nice stuff. I don't need to push my luck much further. Do I need to scan another one of those? I already scanned this thing, but I, I just want to check to see if I need to scan another one. I'm guessing that's a no. I already got one. I don't need it. Pathfinder tool releases little discs with glowing waypoints on them. Each waypoint points to the last one we released. You can reabsorb them after you're done. Gotcha. Is that something I need to scan? Cyclops hull fragment. There we go. Ouchies. I'm gonna need to repair my doodad. What direction is my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I think uh, we had a pretty event-free um, Subnautica segment today. I've made lots of progress. I feel pretty good about where I'm at. I've got basically all of the tools that I need. Um... You know, I'm working towards some of the heavy-duty stuff. We can start building a base on the next episode. Cyclops is good. Someone said that the Cyclops is a big cube that you drive. <laughs> Where is my... Okay, there it is. Hey. Um, let me see if there's anything quick I can make. Probably not. Let me just check some of the blueprints that I've got. I need the, uh, I'm gonna need the stun gun, right? So what is that gonna require?
I need this, so that's a wiring kit. Uh, I need the stasis rifle, that's a computer chip, and two magnetite. I think I only have the one magnetite, unfortunately. Um, oh, modification station, so we could make a lightweight, high capacity tank. Lighter build allows for enhanced maneuverability. Repulsion cannon applies per, 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 percussion, percussive force to entities in range. Uh, that looks like it's going to be expensive. Um, Cyclops hull. We don't have all the parts we need to make the Cyclops yet. We don't have everything for the moon pool. We have nothing for the multi-purpose room. We do have, however, exterior grow beds. That's good. Because that means we can... Oh, and water, fil water filtration. I don't know when we got that. But this is really good. I don't know how expensive aerogel is. I'm uh, assuming very expensive. Com uh, compost organic matter into electrical electricity. I'm assuming that's going to be necessary. Uh, magnetite is one of the most obscenely hard to find or obtain resources in the game. Be careful of what you use it on. Damn. Okay. Good to know. A modification station. Advanced fabricator for modification of survival equipment. Well, we definitely want to use it on the coffee vending machine, right? Does the power transmitter um, extends the range of a power source? Does that make it so I can like charge my... I really need to find the battery charger and I need to find the uh, multi-purpose room. That's what I need. Then we can start thinking about other things, like a scanner room for instance. But I've gotten quite a lot of uh, blueprints. If he actually pays attention to the warnings. Uh, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say I'm well known for paying very close attention to things like that. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct... Be right back. Doorbell.
Hello. I know I'm eating food, but it wasn't food, I promise. It was a delivery. Um, do you want, do y'all want me to save this for next, uh, next week and we'll move on to pray? I will neck myself. Something chicken related? No. I don't know what it is actually. Contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, so what, where are these coordinates? Sent you the coordinates. Where are these coordinates? Well, count down in real time as you play, Bimple. It will take you at least 39 minutes for the sunbeam to touch down on the coordinates. We'll forget by then. That's the, the landing site over there. Am I, I'm, am I correct in assuming it's a very dangerous location to get to? Do we, I guess we want to do that this this week. If you, it will take you over half an hour for this story to happen. Just please be there on time. Okay. We'll do it next week. It's a good cliffhanger to leave on. I won't forget because there's a giant timer on the on the thing and I pretty much pointed in the right direction. So, Subnautica. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying Subnautica.